commenter on my YouTube channel there recently asked me about the future of the sole practitioner and the comments that I have to make about that would in the first instance deal with the legal profession but I firmly believe that the comments that I make can be applied across other professions other professions in which there is a sole practitioner or a solo entrepreneur or a sole trader or whatever you like to call him or her. So any profession, the future, in my view, is bright, provided, it, and it is a strict condition, provided you treat your business, your practice, as a business. In other words, that you have the skills to grow your base, your client base, you have the skills to generate leads, generate inquiries, generate clients. You could be the best solicitor in the world, you could be the best accountant, tax consultant, psychologist, psychiatrist, or whatever. But if you were incapable of generating leads, generating queries, generating clients, then the future for the sole practitioner in your profession will not be bright. The first rule of investing is not to lose your money. The first rule of being a sole practitioner, a person like me, is to stay in business. You must stay in business long enough to generate sufficient clients, to generate fee income, to make a profit. So the future is bright if you are capable of taking a business-like approach to your practice. So it's not enough that you are a good accountant or management consultant or psychologist or physiotherapist or whatever. You must treat it, your practice, your profession, as a business from the point of view of generating clients. Some solicitors, just to bring it back to the legal profession, are good at this and some are absolutely clueless. So you could have the paradoxical situation of having a bunch of solicitors who are absolutely excellent at what they do but they don't have the commercial skills, they don't have the street smarts, they don't have the savvy, the experience that comes from running businesses, from hustling and grinding. Those individuals could be excellent solicitors, very professional and do a great job, but they struggle. They struggle as sole practitioners because they are not capable of generating clients at a sufficiently fast rate. My own background is from small business, so I come to this profession in sort of a, from, a, from the rear as it were. In other words, I didn't start out as a solicitor, I started out as a small business person. And then when I came into this profession, solicitor, I find it relatively easy, quite frankly, to generate leads, generate clients and so on. But I recognise that other professionals coming from a background of college, academia, straight out of one of the big firms perhaps, and starting up as a sole practitioner, some of these individuals struggle. And they struggle because they're not able to do the business stuff, the money stuff, the client generation stuff. It's absolutely vital. My background, as I say, uniquely allows me to generate clients and so on. So I have a YouTube channel with over 15,000 subscribers. I have a TikTok account with over 20,000 fans. I have an Instagram account with nearly 10,000 followers and so on. I'm able to hustle and grind and build my brand, build my profile, generate leads, generate clients from the likes of social media. There's other ways of doing it as well. But social media nowadays is so ubiquitous that not being able to generate leads and clients from social media is a serious, serious deficiency, serious defect for any sole practitioner in whatever business they're involved in. So to circle back to the outset and the question, what's the future for the sole practitioner? It's very good if the sole practitioner is able to run his or her practice like a business with a very much a commercial bent. That's not to say that they throw out the window questions of integrity or ethos or any of that good stuff no need for that whatsoever. It's not a binary decision, it's not an either or. You can be very ethical, you can be very, very committed to justice and so forth, but you must be able to generate clients. If you 
find this video useful and appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel if you are just hit the subscribe button below hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and i upload a new video a full length video once or twice a week and i upload short videos practically every day thanks a lot